this is Saturday morning. It is the weekend before term two of school starts, which is really, really sad to admit, to be honest. Holidays have treated me well. Anyway, have had such a beautiful holiday and now I need to start mentally preparing myself to go back into the classroom, do another term. And if you know, you know, term one was really a lot for me, really full on. And my boyfriend and I, Matt, we also met each other during term one. And I feel like for both of us, we've talked about it and we just kind of were slacking off a little bit. So now that we've like gotten through that initial part of the relationship, now we feel like we can kind of find our routine a little bit better and find what works for us. I'm such a routine gal. Like I love feeling good. My body loves to predict what's coming next. So we're trying to get back into that. And the plan for this vlog is to reset get our bodies feeling good and prepare for our new routine, prepare for a new term, just get everything sorted like body wise, house wise, like just so that everything feels good again. So we've just woken up, I actually slept in a little bit this morning because we were quite tired yesterday. Um, it is quarter to seven. I've just gotten up, I've put a load of washing on, unpacked the dishwasher having my supplements. I am doing this every morning until these are gone. My naturopath put me onto them. Basically, this is like a multivitamin. Um, just has like minerals and vitamins in it that are good for overall health. But then this bad boy, if you've been to a naturopath and they've given you that, you know what's up. It does not taste good. It is not fun. Um, but this is like a bit of a gut reset, which I feel like I really need right now. My stomach feels blur. I am a little bit all over the place. My body just feels like it's not working. That's what I'm on first thing every morning. And then having my greens. I'm gonna make one for Matt as well. Just realize you cannot see anything I'm doing right now. Dropped my camera one too many times and now the autofocus in my camera is gone. So anyway, cheers to that. These greens actually taste really good. They're the Muscle Nation ones. I just feel like my body needs to be hit with a bunch of good stuff and like sort itself out. My hormones are all over the place. Like I just am all out of whack and I don't want to start term two feeling like foreign in my own body. Like I'm so happy, like overwhelmingly happy and life is really, really good. But just a lot of, a lot of indulging. My birthday, obviously like I had a bit of alcohol. We've been going out quite a lot and just drinking a bit. Yeah, we just need to get back into routine. I made you greens. Oh, I thank you. I'm a back to front as well. <laughs> These are the conversations I want to be having with you first thing in the morning. Mm, 100%. I was explaining how we need to reset our lives and we've been indulging. We have been indulging, but that's what you do on holidays. True that. You indulge. But we just, we feel a bit mm, mm. So we need to... Just Bring it all back together. Yep. Pick yeah. up the pieces, clean everything up. Yep. And yep. clean this up. Like yeah. I feel so good when my house is just like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll do that today. grocery shop. Aldi. Yeah. Did you hear the beep? I did hear the beep. We are en route to Aldi and we're gonna get, well we went to Coles yesterday to get some stuff. Yeah, some overpriced stuff. Some overpriced stuff. Now I'm gonna go get our, our discount <laughs> our stuff. Our discount stuff. Because um, we are savvy. <laughs> we have planned out our meals as well for next week so we know what we're cooking, what's our like lunches for school and all that stuff so now we oh, we should have made a list uh, we're very bad at making a list when we go to the we grocery did, we did store. say that we we're gonna make a list yeah we say a lot of things that we don't do true that but yeah we just kind of oh, oh 
my goodness. Wow. I hope the Gold Coast cancel the Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I put wraps on. You see, it worked out for the better. <laughs> what were you focusing on? <laughs> oh, no, I was listening. You just perusing. What do we need to get from Aldi? Um, food. Potatoes. Some dairy stuff from Aldi. Yep. I find that it's a bit cheaper at Aldi. Like when I first moved and started shopping, like doing my full shop at Aldi, I could always get a lot more at Aldi for like the price. Same price. A bit more bang for your buck, would you say, more, Georgia? A bit more bang for your buck. That's yeah. exactly what I would say, Matthew. Yeah. Just some bits and pieces. I need to get a few like laundry cleaning things that are also really cheap at Aldi. A little hack if you're I was gonna say in the market for laundry <laughs> If you need laundry products, they are quite cheap at Aldi. Wow. And I like them. If the viewers are shopping at Aldi, can they use Georgia 15 for a discount? <laughs> No, it's Georgia and Matthew. Ah, yes. Aldi gives me a bit of anxiety regardless. Oh yeah, look, the car park's always full. Aldi gives me a bit of anxiety regardless, but add a crowd into Aldi and it just is someone with anxiety's worst nightmare. Like the checkouts, I'm so glad that they have, um, well, you are very far over. <laughs> I don't know, where are you parking, Matthew? Uh, I'm looking for shade. I am a shade oh. seeker. Yeah, I'm glad that they have those self-serve things in Aldi now. Mm because that takes away a little bit of the anxiety because I get too stressed when they're just like pumping it through the the register and then you gotta catch it. What's good? Got anything to say? Um, just keen to go shop a bargain. Um, <laughs> keen to get some food, feeling a little bit hungry. So yeah, probably not the best um, time to go, time to go shopping yeah, when you're hungry because then you buy a little bit more than you need. Yeah, true that. Um, yeah, see what they have to offer here at, at Aldi. See what these merchants um, have to sell us, if they have any specials. And we're going <clears> to <throat> grocery shop, and then we're going to hit the gym. True Hence that. That's why we're dressed in active wear. Make some gains. Do leg day today. Yeah. Let's go. We're back from Aldi. Here's what we got. Laundry detergent. Yeah. Coconut yogurt. GoPro. Feta. This hummus is a absolute sleigh. The sriracha hummus. Mwah. Two dollars. Chicken bar fillers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at vegetarian. That's against your religion. <laughs> Low carb wraps for Mexican thrown out. Salad mix. Potatoes. Caramelized onion hummus. Another good thing. Cream cheese. Raspberry Greek yogurt. And baby beetroot. Lebanese bread for pizzas. Baking paper for the oven. Tissues for snot. <laughs> Granola for yogurt. Bananas for eating. Caster sugar for the rims of glasses. <laughs> Sweet potato for consumption and gains. <laughs> Chili powder for flavor. Broccoli for health. <laughs> health. Jasmine rice for filling. And flowers for Georgia. Oh, that was smooth. Mm. And softener for the blankets. <laughs> and... Oh, I already said that. I <laughs> already been said. <laughs> Top tip boys, eight bucks from Aldi. Get <laughs> yourself some brownie points. <laughs> oh, that's a nice combo. Yeah. Right. See, you get two bunches for eight dollars and Bob's your uncle. Fucking there you go. There you go. Pretty they are. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> What up you do? We just finished our leg session at the gym. To say it was hard to walk up my front steps when I got home. But we've gotten into Togsville. And it actually looks cloudy now. What the heck? We're going to the beach. What? We're making lunch. I'm gonna make some salad rolls. We got this idea when we went to Bagara and the bakery. Oh. Is it the bakery? Oh. The bakery in Bagara, they do like salad rolls with chicken. Yeah. Well, they have the option of chicken. Option of chicken. But 
obviously I don't eat meat, so I got mine just like a salad roll. And it was the best salad roll I've ever had. Definitely has something to do with the bread, but <clears throat> anyway. It just like started this little obsession with making salad rolls. So I'm going to show you how we make them and what we put on them. Actually, I'm not going to show you how we make them because everyone knows how to make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need me to Is do this that. a lifestyle channel? Uh <laughs> Uh, it, really food channel. It is a lot. Oh, well, it's a bit of both. Did you watch my birthday vlog? Uh, true that. It's like I ate this and I ate this. This is an important part because you don't want the bread roll to be too dry. Isn't that right, Matthew? True that. No one likes a dry bread roll. Somehow you made friends with salad. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, the smell. That is sterile. First things first. On the realist. <laughs> a bit of avocado on top of the butter adds to the moisture is it a bit of extra good fat we love our good fat then Ooh. i'm gonna put oh, a me. little bit of pesto we don't normally do this but we have pesto all i can smell is your salmon I can smell the pig. and i don't complain about the salmon smell as much oh. <laughs> you do complain about that salmon. i do complain about it but not as much as you complain oh. about pickles i have a why are you counting? <laughs> <laughs> because you brought it up, so I like to rebut that argument. Salt and pepper, my friends. I like to put pickles on next. I don't know why, I feel like they just go really well with the lettuce. Oh, Matt, this is going to be so good. Electrolyte drink. Matthew. 100 plus. Matthew is e eating carbonated. <laughs> Matthew is illiterate. <laughs> and he does not pronunciate his words correctly. Then you get cheese. I always put cheese on top of the beetroot because... I really like the way the beetroot tastes with cheese. Mm. And we just use the packet sliced cheese because it's easier. Oh, and then I like to do the last part. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done all the parts, but you can do the last part too. <laughs> and then we've got some carrot. And I like to put that on top of the cheese because when you go... <laughs> Excuse me, I have tried to speak. Uh, put the salt and pepper. On top, on top, I feel like it just soaks into the carrot a little bit better. Then we do salt and pepper and pepper. Oh, I just said salt and pepper. <laughs> you know what it did. We had Subway today and we did salt and pepper shake and one. And then mayonnaise. We'll go, we go the real egg mayonnaise because mm. this is what they look like. How good. So we're going to take them down to the beach, eat them down there. My sister is coming over later. Uh, because we're going to the Imperfects podcast live show tonight, which will be so good. I went to the one in Brisbane in October last year, I think. And after that one, my sister, she was on her honeymoon and was like, oh, I'd really like to go. So I bought her tickets for Christmas straight away. So she gets to come now. But we're going to go to the beach, eat our solid bowls, and that's that. Happy Sunday. We are in full house reset mode now. I've had a very slow start to the day. We just had brekkie. And now we're going to reorganize the pantry because I've just spoken about it before. God damn, this pantry is so small. I actually have two pantries. So I have this pantry. <laughs> I have this pantry here. As you can see, there's not a lot of storage in there. So then I also have this cupboard in here which has like a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit in there. So all like my extra products come in here. Very messy, that also needs to be organized. I also probably have stuff in here that could move into the bigger cupboard, like all my tea and stuff, because we have a tea most nights. This is the only shelf that I've done so far. It's like all about like supplements and yeah, health, health stuff. We are gonna take all of this out reorganized i got these from kmart to put in the shelves <laughs> i got these from kmart to put in the shelves to like put the cans and stuff on so you can actually see it and then i've just got like random stuff it's small enough to put in there it's a very small space so i feel like we just need to be we just need to be smart oh they're molded Hello guys, we have just come back from a run. I did my first run back post injuring my ankle, which was like beginning of January. So it's been over three months now. Um, 
and it just felt so good to finally be running again. I probably could have run a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't want to push it. And I don't know, I just felt like giving my ankle a little bit of extra time because I know I can get like a little bit, you know, too into it. Oh, camera battery is already flashing, which is great. We have done a Sunday reset today. I've just come home, I'm making some meal prep. We're making Mexican beans. We're gonna have little like rice bowls. And then I've got some chipotle chicken in the slow cooker for Matt. Um, look how red my face is. That's what we're doing for meals this week. I also had to do all of my marking that I didn't do from last term. I left it to the very last day of holidays because I just didn't want to think about it. And look, there's probably more you could do, but you kind of just have to do what you can do. Oh, this is about to die. First day back of term two. <laughs> <laughs> so we were thinking about hitting the ground running, you know, correcting a few of our um, not bad habits, but getting into a better routine. Well, this that's term. what they've seen before this, you know, us doing our reset. We went to the grocery yeah, store, yeah. we did all the things that we have. We woke up this morning, we were like, we're just like in the game. Let's go. We'll get up at five o'clock, let's go for a sunrise walk. Mm -hmm. We'll be at school by seven and just like, Get organized, get on top of it, have an awesome first day back. Yep. Did that happen? The complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Literally the complete opposite. So how we start off? So we left at about like seven, was no. it, or quarter past? Quarter past seven? What, no, what time do we leave? We left at like quarter to seven. Like oh, quarter to seven. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we even left really? even earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so we left then, um, my car has been playing up a little bit, like the um, starter motor has been giving me a little bit of grief and worry, uh, just when it's idling, you know, concerns. Um, Half the people watching this will be like, what? <laughs> what a car thing, even I don't know, I'm just saying stuff. Uh, um, but yeah, so I was thinking, yeah, the battery is about to go. Um, booked a service in for Wednesday coming up. Getting a car, she's not sounding too healthy. Sounds like the Honda has a cold. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's sounding a little bit crook. And then I'm following Georgia into work. And, and we see, get... this is a really good thing. Like we travel like in the same direction to work. So like one of us is normally behind the other one. Mm. Which is good. Very good, especially for instances like today. Like today. So she's in front of me, uh, we go to the lights, and then um, my radio goes, and I think, oh gee, that's not too good. Um, <laughs> and then I just turn my tunes up on my phone a little bit louder. I thought, oh yeah, all right, well we can, you know, we can grin and bear this until we get to work. And then we stop the lights, George is in front of me, and then my car just stops. Just engine off, uh, put it in park, take the key out, try to start it up again, but it's just not even going like, I don't know if you've got a flat battery before and you can like turn it over and it'll like, it'll go tick, 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 and it'll try to turn on, but like the bat, and that's like a battery, but this is like the alternator light. It just wasn't even like, no signal was going to the battery. So nothing was happening. Um, I couldn't even turn like my hazard lights on. Um, couldn't even like take it out of park. So I mind you, he's in the middle lane. So there's like yeah. a lane either side and he's in the middle one and he can't even put on his hazard lights. Hazard light, so he's just like dead in the middle of the, the road. The road. Yeah, busy road, I'm in the right lane. Busy cars, road at peak hour. Yeah, cars driving past me. I'm able to like hail and pass, like go on, go on. Um, and then I think, all right, well, I'm gonna get myself out of this, call RACQ. And as I'm calling RACQ, I'm getting calls from Georgia. But I was like, well, I, this is, unfortunately, this is priority. I've got to get myself off the main road. Mind you, I didn't want to call, but I just knew something was wrong. Like, I'm, mm. like, he's not behind me anymore. So I'm like, oh, no, something's happened with the car. Mm. Then he texts me, and he's, like, on the phone to Rack. And I'm like, who's Rack? And then I realized Rack autocorrects to RACQ. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, something's really wrong here. And I was like, do I go and just go to school and be 
school on time and get my stuff done. And I was like, I cannot leave him knowing that he's just in the middle of the road. And I didn't really know what happened. I thought he could have been in an accident. So I was like, turned around, mm. did a UE. And then once I finally found him, as I turned onto the street, I hit a curb and <laughs> completely annihilated my tire. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like she, she has no hope. She yeah. is flat as anything. The rim was almost touching the ground when it was like parked. When I saw it, I was like, oh no. Cause Matt's like, drive over to me and I'll help you change your tire. And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. And then I looked at my tire and I was like, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no, no. I'm staying put. So uh, as old mate, um, the kind, kind taxi driver, um, yeah. if you're watching Big Dog, thank you sincerely. <laughs> I highly doubt you're watching. I'm sure he's watching. watching my vlog. Yeah, he definitely seems like the type of dude that would. Um, that would watch my vlog. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you don't know my face. No. But anyway, very kind soul. He um, parked behind me and turned his hazard lights on. Um, directed traffic. Directed traffic, abuse of people. Torch thing. Yeah, had his torch going. He was abusing people in traffic. Um, he was just a character. Um, eventually, a tow truck came. Not the RACQ tow truck, but uh, another tow truck took me off the road. So that was good. Um, and then, as he left me, the taxi driver that is, he looped around and then started helping Georgia change her tire. So nice. Very nice. Very nice. And then eventually the RACQ tow truck came and took me or took my car, sorry, and then to the mechanic um, and I crossed the road, helped finish, um, change the tire. And then we were hitting the road at about eight o'clock. Oh no, it was, was way up that. It was yeah. like almost like 20 past eight. Yeah, goodness. As I may say, when it rains, it pours and just ironic the, the day that we leave home the earliest is the day that we get to school the absolute latest that we ever have the day that we try to be the most prepared is mm. the day that everything falls apart yeah what a day what a day indeed. and then like we were like oh the day can't get worse from here well that's what i said and my day just went <clears throat> but booked my car in the wednesday his car should be done tomorrow we're honestly just making it through at the moment aren't we oh i mean we're, we're thriving though still like <laughs> Somehow yeah, we're still here having a laugh. Yeah, with all that said. And also at the beginning of this vlog, I think I said, we're not gonna drink. We literally were like, if there was ever a day that we were gonna go to the pub and have a drink, it was today. So we went and had a beer. That is what we did. However, we are back on our grind now. Yeah, a bit of stir fry slop. Um, stir fry slop. Got, Maddie um, special. Yeah, got Szechuan sauce. Szechuan. What not. Um, Hokkien noodles. Hokkien. 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 Um, Hokkien noodles. <laughs> Hokkien. And yeah, I've got my beef, so I'm doing the vegetarian friendly option first, serving up. And now I'm going to add my meat. Also, it is quarter past eight. <sighs> Why we do that? I don't know. Side note, how cute's this little lunch bowl? Adorbs. Adorbs? <laughs> Yuck, I'm, I haven't said that in a very long time. You are tired. I am tired. That's where we've been. That's the day we've had. I'm signing off for today. I can't, my brain won't do anymore. See you tomorrow. Considering that the camera was left here, I'm going to say this is probably the last location you saw me talk in. Hello, it is Thursday now, it is 6 o'clock and I just got home from school. Already by telling you that, I'm sure you can kind of understand the day that I've had and the week that I'm having for that matter. This vlog just wasn't supposed to be this way um, and like obviously it wasn't like the topic of the vlog but I know a lot of you are interested in how life is going and I'm really trying to get back on track with like sharing that side of thing. I literally just got home from school this week. I had really good intentions for the week to be really like setting myself up for term two and just like getting into a really good routine with everything. That has not been the case. I just feel so overwhelmed, so behind with everything. Like as a new teacher too, I just feel like I'm drowning in everything. And like I broke down in our year level meeting yesterday because I was literally just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm very overwhelmed and it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. A bit of validation for anyone who is a new teacher as well. So I can't even keep the camera straight. I'm so tired. I'm very tired, but I 
have really been struggling with the marking um i'm still marking things from term one and like inputting the grades and just i guess not really receiving a lot of support anyway i've brought home my marking not all of it i brought myself home one assessment piece that i'm gonna mark or finish marking i've already done half of it and input the grades and that's my job for tonight uh matt's at the gym i decided to skip the gym today i feel like we have very different paces he's a very chill person and also like his job demands are very different to mine so his like he's very relaxed about his mornings whereas i like getting to school at seven o'clock getting myself organized and i just feel so behind anyway moral of the stories i have work to do so i'm gonna sit down and do that now i just put a candle on and have a quick snack i also look atrocious but i feel like it's a bit too hot for me to have a shower i might just change my shirt and sit down and get some work done hello guys it is saturday been a week after i spoke to you last it just yeah i think the start of the week just kind of like carried on throughout the rest of the week oh mentally just absolutely exhausted called for a bit of retail therapy today so matt and i went to the shops and i thought i'd give you a big haul before i put it away because we got some tings and we got some deals my shopping itch has been scratched you guys all know from the last vlog with matt matt encourages my spending would you call me in the night and i will an enabler. Yeah. I would, Matt. I would. <laughs> I'll show them your kicks first. I'll show them the kick. The lighting is a bit trash. Crew, I've been after a new pair of kicks for a few few weeks now. Referring to them as crew. Yeah. Um, now, I had a look at these bad boys online. Um, I did like them. It wasn't until I got in the store. But I was a little bit hesitant. However, the angel on my shoulder. I am that angel. <laughs> swayed, swayed my opinion in the right direction that it needed to go. I got the uh, New Balance... 990s would you call it a cream i would call it a cream mat look at that yeah they're not bad they're sleek they are they mm. feel good these are for morning trots these are for afternoon trots these are for work these are for lifestyle these are just for living <laughs> Sounds like it. You named everything. That Honestly, you do. New Balance Chuck, uh, Chuck's a sponsor, I reckon. <laughs> Why not? Wow. Yeah, pretty pleased. They look really good. I also got some shoes as well. Look, <laughs> I I have been every time I've been to the shops, I've been looking for like some walking shoes, but like joggery shoes, like not New Balance. 530s because I've been wearing them to death. They're getting a little bit worn on the inside because I wear them for walks. I wear them to the gym. Love them, but I just wanted some white sneakers. I haven't had white sneakers in so long. I also love ASICs. My running shoes are ASICs, so I'm very excited about these. But I literally was going to pay more for them. And they're $280 shoes. I went to the register and they were 100 that is my deal of the day. How good. Like I was gonna pay more for these, but oh well, I will take the bargain. So basically I did like $70 worth of shopping for free. I was gonna pay 170 for these. Mm. So I got $70 of $70 shopping for free. off. And you should have seen the look on her face when she returned to me after purchasing them. The look of disbelief and, um, and amazement. And excitement. And excitement all mixed into one. Look at them. They're so pretty. I like the beige gel. You can tell we're simple. Simple people. Yeah. Um, but these are for my trots. At least plus 15 speed. Yeah. They are sleek. Plus 25 style. They're gonna look really good with my socks. And, oh, I didn't even see these. Comfort soles. Ooh. Pop off. Love a good sole. You know what I mean? I, all right, are you gonna show them what you got? Why does it keep not focusing? I think I've dropped my camera and the autofocus has left the building. I got this So we're on to TK Maxx now. Oh yeah, sorry, this is TK Maxx. Got this skirt, stunning. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got little red bits in it. it looks really sleek. I still don't know how to pronounce this brand, but I love, I love this brand. Severe. Severe? Severe. 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 Really cute maxi skirt. Also got, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just look. I got this I'll little jumper time. and the flowers are embroidered on. How cute. <laughs> You're in the back. Got some jeans. Nice blue denim jeans. Tommy, my man Tommy Hilfiger, he knows how to make some quality garments. That's what you said about Calvin Klein in the last one. Both men. <laughs> both men know how to make a quality garment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice um, material. 
size. Good. You needed some straight jeans. That I did. That I did. Good discount from my boy TK. Um, last thing from TK Maxx. I got this um, long sleeve activewear top, which is going to look really cute. Oh, with my new sneaks. Oh, that's a match made in heaven. <laughs> we got some comfy socks as well. <gasps> I forgot about the socks. Yeah. Oh, good. this material. Like, I know if you see it, you'll know what I mean. I'm so excited. Just some comfy winter socks. I literally just got them because they were beige. And Matt's going to have the black ones. Oh, yeah. And I forgot about these. Matt bought me a little ring holder. I Look how cute that cool. is. <gasps> it's a little flower. I've always wanted a ring holder just to put beside my bed because I wear my rings every day. Then we went to Peter Alexander, my boy Pete. Fellas, do yourself a favor and get yourself some long pajama bottoms for this winter. Fellas, winter is coming and you want to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much were these? I think they were, they were originally 90, discounted down to 59, discounted even further to 29. I was, I was, what a deal. I was chuffed. Couldn't walk past them. Nice, um, nice fabric, good material. They're they gonna be nice and, warm. nice and warm indeed. Oh, we're getting a bit. It has come to our attention that adults have king beds. So we are adults, we're getting a king Wait, bed. Adults don't have doubles. <laughs> Let's not talk about the double. But we are getting a new bed. Anyway, that means new cook cover, new doona, all that stuff, new sheets, the whole thing. But the doona cover, as you'll see in the next vlog, is like a baby yellow. So saw this at a dares. How cute. The lighting's probably not doing it justice, but yeah, mm. little baby yellow vase to put on the shelves in the bedroom. It was twenty dollars. It was all discounted. I think it was like Fifteen or something. How much was it originally? Like thirty? No, originally it was forty. Oh, gee, that's all right. I think I paid fifteen. Bargain. Speaking of matches. The, true that. Speaking of the bed, we got some nice oh. flannelette sheets with some palm trees. Nice little palm tree patterns. From Kmart. What a sleigh. Kmart. Anko. Good on your Anko. Made in Pakistan. I didn't even know they made sheets in Pakistan, but. <laughs> Good on them. Good on them. Oh, so soft though. Like flannel mm. and sheets and they were only like 45 or something. Yeah, 45. Not bad. Nice. Matt As loves a good palm tree. True that. True that. One of his tats. Mmm. Yes. So we've got some um, flannel and sheets. That we do. As I said, winter is coming. <laughs> it's so like our first purchase together. It's like all the bedding stuff. So, yeah. It's exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> oh, my pajama pants. Yeah, true, true. I got these pajama pants from... Peter Alexander. I just wanted some good staple pants for winter. I cannot express to you how soft this is. Oh. Like it's so good. So good. Soft. I'm so excited. Like wide leg. Originally $80. I got them for $20. Psh, not bad. Bargain. Not bad girl. And they're nice and oversized. I love when they're like really, really baggy. Mm. Oh. Do you reckon I should have got the extra large in these ones? Probably could have, yeah. but it's okay. It's okay. You know for next time. I know for next time. From Kmart, I also got this little nude pot because I've got a plant outside that's overgrown. Holy crockers. I got some school stuff. This is going to have like my running records for school in the their reading group folders. So I have four clipboards. I've got some blue tack. We've got some, got some folders. That's for my assessment. Cookbook for Mother Dearest. Oh, I got a shirt too. Oh, you did. Couldn't stop at the shoes. Had to get a shirt as well. Handy pickup. I love that you thought that that wouldn't show up sweat. Like it's cotton and 100%. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm sick. You won't even show up sweat. Just the material. Like it feels really thin. Yeah, it's so thin, thought, but yeah. you'll still show up your sweat. You balance it. Since 1906. Does any, does anyone else's boyfriend sweat? Like there's no tomorrow. Like yeah. there is just pores pouring out liquid. I'm a sweaty boy. He is a very sweaty boy. From Bunnings, I got this flowering plant because I have a pink pot that I thought this would look really good in. It's a chrysanthemum. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Broncos are about to play. So we're gonna watch the footy. Uh, I digress, they have started. They have, we're about to make pizzas. We're gonna make pizzas. We're gonna have a nice night in. It's like raining, really cozy vibe. I'm gonna end off this weekly vlog here because I wanna put this week in the past. It's been a hectic first week of term. It has. Mm. Hasn't been our week. Hasn't, we've had a few things go against <laughs> us. But hey, we stand here at the end of the week with smiles on our dials, more in love than ever. <laughs> we've conquered. 
We've conquered United, every challenge that has come our way. United through trauma. Yeah, huh? Spot on. And we live to tell a funny tale. That we do. Or a few funny tales. Hmm. It's been a few good yarns, as they would say. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. Oh, will I pick up the camera next week? They yeah, are, I reckon so, surely. Yeah. We'll do another one. Yeah. We'll, we'll try again. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll give it a go. See what the fans want. Yeah. Let us know down below if you want to see any. Um, <laughs> Oh, and these videos make sure you like and subscribe like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video very very soon i love okay. you bye say goodbye oh sorry peace out homies <laughs>